very much for supporting this student-initiated, student-run, and student-performed production. And we hope you enjoy the show. shit on his side, but look at how well he plays Quidditch. You can't tell me that those skills wouldn't transfer over to the court. Yes, I can! Basketball is nothing like Quidditch! Bullshit, they're both just throwing a ball through a hoop. Oh God. <laughs> Luke, you used to play basketball yourself. You know that isn't true. And besides, LeBron wouldn't be able to, Harry wouldn't be able to get a shot off with LeBron's defense. First of all, what defense? LeBron doesn't play defense. Second of all, what about Harry's Quidditch match from the Chamber of Secrets? He had a rogue bludger on him the entire time, only got brushed by it once. He was weaving around the stadium on a broomstick with a massive ball coming at his head at 40 miles per hour, and he still caught the snitch. Did he use any magical powers in that Quidditch game? I think not. Now, I want you to look me in the eyes. No, 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 look me in the eyes. And tell me that with those skills, Harry couldn't break LeBron's ankles. Okay, fine. I guess he has a chance. Case closed. Oh, shit, man. Did, did, did you see the captain's story? No. You still haven't gotten I'm it? I'm not getting Snapchats, God. It's oh corrupting God. the human race. You're corrupting the human race. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, he's having a party tonight, and the entire grade is invited. He, he just needs five bucks so we can pay back his plug. Jesus, Scott, why do you talk like that? You talk like what? You just need five bucks to pay back some more. <laughs> How am I supposed to say it? He needs five dollars to, to repay the capital to the old chap who purchased the alcoholic oh, beverages. Not the worst way to uh, say look, it. Look, it's beside the point. We gotta go to this. Why? 
I don't know about you, but warm beer, crowded basements, never really been my thing. How would you know? We've never been to one of these things. I, I, there'll be girls there. Scott, when's the last time you talked to a girl? You couldn't flirt if someone was feeding you the compliments. Uh, that is false. I'm smooth as fuck. <laughs> hey, third grade, most Valentines in the classroom. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, what's the problem? You know how much people drink at these things? Yeah, but we wouldn't. So I would never break the pact. Yeah, we're above that shit. Yes, we are, but we, we need to branch out and meet new people, and this is a great opportunity to do so. I bet you the whole basketball team is there. Th okay, I get what you're saying, maybe we need to branch out, but with those guys, you know they're complete assholes. Well, they're not that bad. Hey, Tommy. What's up, Voldemort? <laughs> okay, fine, maybe they're not the nicest people in the world, but, but you're telling me you've never wanted to be friends with those guys. No. You've never wanted to be popular. Nope. Not even a little bit. Not even a little Come bit. Come on, those guys live like kings. Does that not sound appealing? No. <laughs> Besides, I gotta rest up. I have my big speech tomorrow. You know how my anxiety gets when I'm worked out. You're gonna be freaking out anyway. Might as well have a good time the night before. Scott, or just, just for a little bit. I promise we can branch out, meet new people, whatever you want to do. Just not tonight. Fine, I'll under one condition. What? You need to download Snapchat right now. It's corrupt. I don't the human care. Race. You're living under a rock without it. Get the damn app. Fine. But if my brain gets taken over by the government, it's totally your fault. You'll thank me later. Hey, speaking of that speech, how are you feeling about it? All right. It, you know, it's it's been four years, but it's still very in my head. It, it's still too recent. People would totally understand. No, no, no. I think it'll be a good way to finally come to terms with it. Plus, the idea of people out there still driving drunk makes me sick, and I want to do anything I can to stop it. Wow, man, you really are a wizard. You're saving the world and everything. <laughs> hey, the scar does kind of make me look like Harry Potter. Now we just got to fix the rest of your helpless face. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. Your house at six? I'll be there. And no, there's no way you could have had that LeBron-Harry Potter debate with anyone at the party I'll tonight. I'll see you at six. Bye. <laughs> Jesus, Scott, what are you doing back here? Think I'm gonna let you give this speech without wishing you luck? Thanks. Really, really gonna need it. You've been practicing this speech for a month now. You can practically say it in your sleep. I could if I could actually fall asleep. How are you feeling now? Uh, exhausted, but the coffee's helping a little bit. And the nerves? Not the best they've ever been. Did you take your meds this morning? Yeah, but you know how well those have been working. Dude, there's gotta be like 700 people out there. And most of them are high, so no one's gonna care if you mess up. <laughs> it doesn't make messing up any better. Alright, I'm going on in like two minutes. I'm gonna head back. Okay. Hey, don't worry about it, alright? You finally get a chance to tell people how you got this anxiety in the first place. Now when you're stumbling through popcorn readings, people will finally know why. You're right. Thanks, man. May the force be with you. Let's be with you, my young Padawan. <laughs> Next, to talk about the effects of drunk driving, we have one of our own Jayhawks. Please welcome Luke Meyer. My name's Luke Meyer, and I'm here today to talk to you about drunk driving. Okay, so, um, um, every day, uh, 29 people in the United States die in motor vehicle crashes that involve an alcohol-impaired driver, and, um, of those crashes, 17% are caused by drivers under the age of 21, even though the legal drinking age is 21, which I'm sure you already knew. 
Um, drunk driving is, um, it's, uh, it's a serious problem and um, it's I know what you guys are thinking that those are just stats that something like that could never happen to you which is which is what I thought too until about four years ago when I was 12 years old, I was driving with my dad to a comic store one night. And um, as we were nearing the store, uh, a drunk driver swerved across the median. And um, well, my dad, he tried to, he tried to swerve out of the way, but it was, it was, it was, it was, it was too late. <laughs> I, I was I was fine, but my dad he was left playing there, and and and, and his face was pale. There was so much blood, and and he, I, I I I I tried to call an ambulance. I, I tried, but by the time they got there, it was, it was by the time they got there, it, it was it was it was too. He wasn't. He, he was. He was. Open. Hey, man. Hey. How are you doing? Better. <laughs> Look, uh, I know that didn't go the way you wanted it to, but, but what you did say was really, really powerful. If by powerful you mean full of long pauses and stumbling, then, then yeah, it was powerful. Plus. I don't think anyone's gonna remember the first half of the speech after what happened at the end. Th that's what I'm saying. What? Th the end, uh, people finally got a chance to see the, the effects of drunk driving in person. It, it was- Scott, I think you're missing the point. I had a panic attack on stage in front of the entire fucking grade. You're right. I'm, not, I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. And I'm sorry about last night too. What about it? for being obsessed with that stupid party. All of that shit is bad news, and those guys are complete assholes. They most certainly are. I just can't believe that they would post something like that on their story. It's honestly just such a dick. Shit, you, you don't follow that. Wait, what? Nothing. What, what did they put on their Nothing. stories? Nothing, I honestly, I don't Scott, know. Scott, Scott, what did they put on their stories? Drinking is a uh, bad. I'm the reason we'd be here on a fucking Saturday morning. Dude, he's fucking retarded. I mean, can someone just press the reset button on him and he's gonna fucking yo, melt yo, down. Yo, 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 yo. Oh. What? Dude, no way. No way! What is going on? What is wrong with him? He's retarded. Let's go. Yeah. None of that is true. No, they're right. I'm a fucking retard and a no, screw No, up. you're not. Yeah, no, you're not. Yeah, look, yeah, look we am. both know that isn't true. All right, you, you're the best guy I've ever met, and this, this really fucking sucks, but we can work through it together. Thanks, man. That means a lot. Nothing. You're like... You're like the Harry Potter to my Dobby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine.
forever loyal to you, Foster. Foster has oh, presented Toby with oh, <laughs> So what now? I mean, I want to get back at these guys just as badly as you do, so... I've been thinking about it, and I have a plan. It's a little crazy, so just, just hear me out. Well, right now your life just kicks you flat upon your ass But I have a plan to fix that, so just sit down and relax Those stupid jocks of paradox, the jokes that can be fixed But kindness and popularity have never really mixed But there's one way to get back Get back I heard Tommy talking in history class Friday And him and all of his followers are gonna try to play Basketball for the school team, that's right, they're going to try out And they think they'll make it easily, that's right, they have no doubts Well, let's prove those assholes wrong Make the team over them and take back everything from the king. You know we've got what it takes to raise the stakes up and defeat the fleet. Revenge is best served cold, they'll see, and together we will achieve our sweet victory. I'm totally with you that these guys are malicious But this plan that you've drawn up here might be a little ambitious I mean, they're all goddamn superstars and we have barely played Let's just face it, they're untouchable, it'll always be that way Will you please just hear me out? You're right, we might not make it, but at least we gotta try It's like Harry in the chamber, man this shit is do or die. Tommy's done this shit to everyone for way too long, and he always gets away with it. We can't let this go on. Maybe we give this thing a shot. Make the team over them and take back everything. Deep from the king. You know we've got what it takes. Raise the stakes up and defeat the fleet. Revenge is best served cold, they'll see. And together we will achieve our sweet victory. Our sweet victory. I told you, man, wizard powers. Uh, seriously, though, we've been practicing for three weeks. How are you this good already? I don't know. Is it my blood I get? That's right. Your, your dad used to play, right? Yeah. I never saw him, but I heard it was like watching a white point wave. That is so cool! <laughs> yeah. He used to take me to the park to play every Sunday morning. Sunday at 8 a.m., I'd pop into his bed, he'd roll over with this big smile on his face. Biggest smile you'd ever seen. And then uh, we go down to the park, talk about our weeks, NBA news, uh, Harry Potter, all that stuff. Wow. Yeah. 
I look forward to it every week, you know? I mean, I, I love basketball, but it was more just about spending time with him. Once he passed away, um, it was pretty hard to, to get myself to go back. It was just kind of painful to think about playing without him. If it still is, then we really don't have and to go out. I think if we can make the team over there, it'll be a good way of finally repaying him for everything he gave me. Sounds like he was a great dad, Luke. He was. Best dad I ever could have asked for. We're going to take these guys down. For him. For him. Let's do this. Damn, this tryout is absolutely brutal. So it kind of has to be when there's 60 kids trying out for 15 spots. Are there 60 kids? I didn't know there were that many. It's not going to matter with the tryout that you're having. I have yet to see you miss a shot. Hey, you're not so bad yourself. No one can get by you. What are you doing? When you made Tommy fall with that crossover? Not going to lie. He's going to need some serious medical attention for those <coughs> broken ankles. <coughs> but they still refuse to shut up. I thought we'd be past the whole speech incident by now, but this is the third time one of them's fallen to the ground panting and out of breath. Hey, 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 eyes on the prize, all right? It's the obvious lock-ins on the team, but we're right with those guys on the fence. It's just gonna be about who has the better ass of the trout. You're right. I'm gonna go fill my water bottle. I'll be right back. Okay, hurry. Hey, Luke. I think you missed something on your trout for. Oh, shoot, I did? Yeah, it says right here you need a uh, parent signature. Oh my gosh, um, my mom is actually out of town right now, is that okay? Don't worry, have your dad sign it tonight, bring it back tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. No, no, it's okay. No, I, I totally, totally forgot. So sorry. Yeah, bring it back whenever you'd like. Thank you, yeah. So sorry. Why are you laughing? What? What was funny about what I just said? Nothing. Then why the fuck were you laughing? Stop using your dad to get yourself pity. You never shut the fuck up about it. I mean, Jesus, you even had to present it to the whole fucking school. I gave that speech so people wouldn't make the same mistakes and kill themselves. Yeah, it was some speech, wasn't it? Are you really going to make fun of a mental illness? Oh, and you want me to coddle you like everyone else does? And you want me to stand by while you shit on the car accident my dad died in? Oh, you mean the one where the evil, drunk driving villain swoops across the median and hits your hero of the oh, dad? What about that do you find funny? I find it funny because it's a big fucking lie! What? You still don't know? Still don't know what? You know, what are you talking about? Your dad wasn't hit by a drunk driver, okay? He wasn't hit at all. He ran to his stoplight. That accident was his own fault. That, that's not true. I was, I was in the car with him. Yeah, well, it can be hard to know what's really going on when you're asleep in the backseat. Yeah, you really are clueless. Cool. What, what are you what are you talking about? He, he hit a stoplight. That's not that's that, that's not true. That's not what happened. He was hit by a drunk driver who swerved across the median. That's not it wasn't it wasn't his fault. That's not that's 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 not what happened at all. That's not that's, that wasn't that wasn't. <laughs> Coach Bailey! Coach! Deep breaths, all right? Deep breaths. Deep breaths. It's okay. Coach Bailey! It's okay, all right? Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. This is Meyer. This is uh, Todd Bailey, coach of Freeside's basketball team. As you know, the boys finished up tryouts about two days ago. 
And uh, of course, the tryouts, we evaluated players on shooting, defense, etc. Luke is a great player, truly is. But uh, on the last day of tryouts, he had some problems, and they severely disrupted the tryout. Our coaching staff has put a lot of thought into this, and we don't, we don't think Luke is, is ready for high school basketball. I'm sorry. We encourage him to try it again once he's figured out his issue. Hi, um, Coach Bailey. Um, I, I mean this with all due respect, but seriously, is, is this a joke? I, I mean, this, this issue that Luke has is called a panic attack, and he has been medically diagnosed with the disorder. And so you, you're just telling me that you're cutting him from the team because of a mental illness. I, you know what, he has to deal with so much. Already, I mean, he, he takes medication every day. He sees a therapist three times a week. You know what, he's been goddamn fatherless since he was 12. So I just don't understand what you mean by just, It's just not fair. I, Yeah. 
That is complete fucking bullshit. It is. C -c Can you sue them? Is there some sort of law they're breaking? No, he said at the end it was because I wasn't ready, so... That is complete fucking bullshit. God, give it a rest just for a second, please. You're right. It's complete fucking bullshit, but there's nothing I can do about it now. I worked my ass off, that wasn't enough, so... I don't know, I can just work even harder next year. They can't afford to not have me on the team, it's fine. What I still don't get, though, is how you didn't make it. I know you haven't been playing that long either, but that defense you play is absolutely ridiculous. What? You didn't hear? Didn't hear what? Okay. Well, I made the team. But Scott, that's awesome. Thanks, thanks, man. That, that's yeah. awesome. Thank you. Congrats. Thanks. Um, uh, hey, at least one of us can show up all those popular guys on the team, right? Exactly. Yeah. Hey, uh, speaking of, question? Yeah. Um, so I know that these popular guys are total assholes. I, I'm going to do everything I can to give them hell, but Tommy's having a little team get together thing tonight where it'd be awful if I went no, to No, no, no. That's, that's for the team. Of course you should go. You sure? Yeah, yeah. I'm exhausted anyway. You should definitely go. If you insist, man. Yeah. Just remember our pack, though, okay? Yeah, of course. Shit, my mom's here. I gotta go. Okay. See you Monday. Everybody retreats to their companions Happy to have a place to go where they know they can sit back Just fit in But for some of us just hanging round ain't sufficient Some of us need a little bit more than your childhood Sleep under bullshit Welcome to the big league. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. A fellow man would like to introduce this operation. Creation passed down through the generations of the Ely High School population. It's at the top of the ladder, no matter where you go, the chatter will always be about us and how we shatter expectations. Well, thank you for your admiration. Cue the lights, the booze, the tights, the views, the ping pong table with the cheap ass beer. With the wobbling girls about to hurl all over, that's right, best to stand clear. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll used to be the same, but we bring that shit to life with sex, drugs, shots, and bowls. Can't we play with that shit all goddamn night? We know you wanna be us, but the best you can do is see us, cause this group's a mountain you'll never climb, it's so divine. We're gods and you're just people, like Jesus in his steeple, gather round and bow one down. Welcome to the big leagues. Welcome to the big leagues. Welcome to the big leagues. Casa, Scott. Welcome to our team, man. You gonna just stand there? Come on in. Yeah. How big people are on the team? Oh, only about 15, but I thought it'd be a little more fun to have some other people over, too. Hey, uh, Tommy, where'd you put my dad's head? Oh, uh, ping pong table, I think. Hey, hey, Amanda, Amanda, have you, uh, have you met Scott yet? Oh yeah, you're that guy that's always hanging out with Voldemort. Uh, I mean, not always. <laughs> I always thought you were cute. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you. Th thank you very much. It's nice to meet you. It's, it's nice to meet me too. I, I mean you. It's, it's nice to meet you too. What the fuck was that? I don't know, man. I'm just gross. Oh my god, you're like that guy who's always hanging out with Voldemort. Uh, oh, I mean, not all the time. <laughs> hey, speaking of, what is Luke doing tonight? Oh, I think they're showing a Deathly Hollows rerun on ABC. What's his deal with Harry Potter anyways? Oh, I, I think it's the book series his dad used to. You know what happened with him at tryouts? Because being one minute, he was standing totally fine. 
and the next he was flopping on the floor like a fish out of water. I have no idea. I went to go get water, and when I came back, he was on the ground, and he won't tell me why. I'm sure it was just general stress about the whole trap process. Yeah, that, that, that was probably it. Don't worry about that shit, man. You're on the team! Even though you royally fucked up that introduction with Amanda, she seemed pretty excited to have you here. I guess so. Well, let's go see if we can do something about that. Come on! chicken like you always do? I mean, it's the best food for rising wizards. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? It's nothing. No, my, my mom radar is going off. What's going on? It's, it's, it's nothing. Listen, this is about the basketball team because I promise I am just as pissed as you no, are no, and we are going to... No, it's not that. But, well, I don't know. It's, it's kind of that. You know how I had the incident during the last day of the tryouts? Okay. Yeah, but honey, you took your medicine in the morning. There was nothing you could do. Your, your nerves just got the best. No, Mom, it wasn't my nerves, though. Towards the end of the tryout, um, Coach Bailey came up to me, and he said there was a problem on my signature form that I needed a parent signature. Damn, yeah, Coach, I mean, I made sure to tell him Mom, about that our situation wasn't it either. Then. He apologized. It was fine. But well, well, as he was walking away, this kid Tommy started laughing, so I, so I asked him, why are you laughing? And he said that Dad wasn't hit by a drunk driver, and that he actually ran into a stoplight, and that the accident was his fault. And I, I tried to tell him that, that that's not true, that's not what happened. He got hit by a drunk driver who swerved across the median, but he just, he, he wouldn't listen. He just, he just walked away, and there was nothing I could say. There was, there was absolutely nothing I could say. Because I just, I don't know why anyone would say something like that. I don't either. I just miss him so much. I do too. Okay, honey, I do too. Hey, you know what, just forget about that Tommy kid. He has no idea what he's talking about. Why don't we, why don't we head over to Penny's? That sounds good. Okay, great. Um, I'm gonna change. I'll meet you in the car, okay? Okay. And I'm trying to help him. been to a party before? Uh, I mean, yeah, but, but none like this. 
fine. Uh, I'll introduce you to some people. I just don't get why he's here. Well, he made the team. Well, yeah, but we could have just not invited him. Oh, come on, Evan. He seems like a nice guy. Not to mention, he's kind of hot. Yeah, but he's a friend of Voldemort, and he's at one of these things, so imagine what that would do to us if that got out. Well, get over yourself. It's not like Voldemort is the one here anyway. Just try to be nice. I guess. Gather round, my friends, gather round. Now, I want to welcome everyone to my humble abode. Now, we all know why we're here tonight, though most of you fuckers have probably already forgotten by now. We're here to welcome the new basketball team of East High! Now, most of the faces should be pretty familiar, but I want to introduce a couple of newbies. Starting with Parker Phillips. Parker is about six foot two and as scrawny as a stick, but he dribbles the ball so fast you can't even see him move. So let's hear it for Parker. And over here, we've got Scott Richards. Now Scott plays defense so well that Trump can put him on the border and nobody get through. So let's hear it for Scott. To the team, boys. To the team. Hello. No, thanks, man. I'm good. What, never had a beer before? <laughs> no, I actually haven't. Well, here's your first. Tommy, I... Scott, why don't you show him how it's done? Can't. Why not? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I made a pact. Pact? Dude, <laughs> that is the lamest no, no, thing. I, 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 just, I just made a promise and I don't, I don't want to let him down. Dude, is this about Luke? Look, I'm sure he's a great guy, but it's time to grow the well, fuck I, up. I, I... Listen, Scott, I'm just trying to help you unlock a whole new world. Listen up, my friends. A new question for the night. Why do we drown ourselves in Smirnoff and Bud Light? You tell me, tell me. Is it legal yet? So why would we take this risk? I don't know. Well, my dear Scott, it's as simple as this. I drink cause I love the feeling of everything spinning round I drink until I can't see straight, till I need to sit down Cause when I'm sitting on that cowboy drunk beyond belief I can finally let my guard down, I am finally let free I drink cause I love the feeling of casting my stress yeah. away Letting go of all my fears and now nothing's in my way No bullshit tests or homework and no drama with my friends while I'm over here with that thing with little bush can in my head So I raise a cup, let's lose all that stress and sorrow Save all that shit until you're hangover tomorrow Go bottoms up until you're flat up on the floor But your anxiety is not that anymore I drink because of Harry are constantly in my hair, they're always looking through my phone and approving what I wear. You can't do this, you can't do that, and get great in school. Okay. But guess what, you motherfuckers? I'm not following your rules. I'm not gonna be that guy that has all his friends move up the chain while he is left behind. So I pop open a cold one, doesn't matter if it's good because everybody else is so that means I probably should. So raise a cup, let's lose all that stress and sorrow Save all that shit until your hangover tomorrow Go bottom top until you're flat up on the floor Where your anxiety is no better anymore And as I look around I finally notice that I am The only one not wobbling around What you've always wanted, everything you anticipated. So then, why am I so daunted? Why do I feel so isolated? But I'm not gonna be that guy who ends up all alone, the guy who missed his chance because of some stupid shadow.
practice today. We still got to work out that 3-2 zone, but everything else is really coming together. And I want to end practice with a shout out to Tommy and Scott. They've been running their asses off this whole season. Scott on defense and Tommy is our starting point guard. I don't think we can lose. All right, boys, break us down. Jayhawks on three. One, two, three, Jayhawks! Dude, he's right. Your defense is ridiculous. And my defense wouldn't matter if we couldn't score any points. That three-pointer you have is, in, is insane. I think we really all, all know who we owe all of our wins to. Coach Bailey's mom. What is her deal? Why is she in every single one of our games? I have no fucking clue. But every time I'm dribbling out the court, I just hear her start screaming, Let's go Jayhawks! And I'm scared shitless every single time. <laughs> as long as it's working, 7-0 isn't a bad way to start the season. Not bad at all. Hey, I'm hosting tonight. You want to come? I want to come. That's what I asked. Shit. Uh, I think I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to? Uh, never mind. No, I'd love to come. Well, sick. I'll see you there. Scott, I'm glad you got over that roadblock of yours. What roadblock? That one. What's up, my young Padawan? Oh, hey, Tommy. Scott, my mom's outside. Let's go. No fucking way. What? Scott, why don't you tell him? Tell me what? Uh, I'm sorry. Like the, the team's getting together tonight. You mean like last weekend? And the weekend before? Look, Scott, it's been a full month since we've hung out, and this is the third time in a row you've ditched me like this. I know, but I'm trying to get in with the guys on the team. Why? Remember the original reason we went out for that team in the first place to get back at those guys? They really aren't that bad. They're assholes, and you know it. Who else fucking laughs at a guy having a panic attack and puts a video of it on their that story? That was a one-time thing. That kind of thing happens every fucking so day. so it does. Maybe that's just how it is. That's not how it used to be. It's never had to be like that. Look, I've been trying to be super supportive with this whole basketball thing, but I just need you. I just want to hang out like we used to. That's all I'm asking. Luke, wait. You're right. It's, it's been way too long since we've hung out, and I miss that too. How about this? I want to hang out with you tonight, but, but I already said yes to this party. What if I ask Tommy if you can come? It's a win-win. You know how I feel about parties. How do you know you don't like them? You've never been to one. I've heard enough stories to have a pretty good idea of what they're like. Just try this one. It'll be me and you together. I don't know, Scott. If you don't like it after half an hour, we can go back to your house. Promise? Promise. Okay. But I I'm holding you to that half an hour deal. As long as you give these guys another chance. Scott. Uh, I promise you they're not the people who you think they are. Look, I, I may not have a ton of experience with parties, but I know Just who these people one are. One more they're... chance for me. Wake you up at eight? Okay. But no, we'll probably be back at my house by nine. Man, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. 
at least try to have fun. Sure, but just remember our deal, okay? If, if you're not having fun after half an hour, we're going back to your house. Let's do this. Yo, Tommy! What's up, man? What the fuck is up, dude? Hey, Luke. Hey, Tommy, thanks for having me. Yeah, dude, really Amanda cannot it. stop asking where you are. Wait, really? Yeah, I think you're pretty fucking excited to be here tonight. Oh. Amanda, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, hey, man, where's Evan? I have this hilarious story to tell him about Coach Bailey. Shit, I want to hear it too. Let's go. Wait, Scott, I. Best friend in the basement with the other clones. Through all his highs and lows, I've been right by his side. But the second he sees popularity, he's instantly hypnotized. I thought that all you had to do to make it keep a friend was be nice to them, give advice to them, stick with them till the end. But I guess that definition is all just pretend, cause I've been doing that, now he's screwing that, and I am abandoned. Why am I the true nice guy left as an afterthought, while the major dick, the lion, pricks the one down there with Scott? Does Scott not remember what these guys do every day? Manipulate every Outcast to them all, put back up on the shelf All because I'm genuine and just being myself Scott, what is that? Just, just, just hear me out. Have you been drinking at these things? You said that you weren't. Not everyone's drinking. I just thought we made that pact. I thought that meant something no, to you too. Of course you did, but come on, that pact was childish. Of course we are gonna break it. How about you break it right here, right now, with me? I'm okay. Look, it's been 45 minutes, can we please just, 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 just give it 51 minutes, I promise you said that we could leave after. What the fuck is going on? Now first he ditches me, then he stumbles in with a stupid grin of Beery's offering. Everything we've talked about has all been thrown away. The promises are all gone, he's ignoring what I say. We both wanted to not drink throughout all of high school, and I know that he still does it, he's just trying to be cool. Cast to them all, put back up on the shelf All because I'm genuine and just being myself Hi, come on man, was I right or was I right? This party is fucking awesome No, it really isn't, look, it's been an hour and a half Can we please How just leave? How are you leave? not having fun right now? Because I've been standing by myself this whole time Because you've ditched me the entire night Wait, Scott, what is that? Nothing is that a shot? Beer is one thing, but it's shots? Fun. They're fun. I just got you right next to Amanda. She keeps giving me this weird odd thing, man. I stole it. Turn around. Why are you doing shots? Why aren't you doing because shots? Because we made a pact, Scott. And because it's already fucked up all of our other friends' wait, lives. Wait, and I was doing the same about, thing man. to you. And no, no, no. You said that we could leave. And I didn't. Can we please? No, no, no. No, no, no Scott. This, this is something to play around with. I mean, this is the same shit that got my dad fucking killed. No, 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 Scott. I feel one coming on. Please, please. I feel one coming on. Calm down. You said that we could leave. Stop. Like, fuck fuck off, off, man! Fuck off! You know what? I'm I'm, I'm done babysitting you, and whenever you can't figure out how to control your nerves, all right? You know, maybe, maybe Tommy was right. Maybe you have been holding me back. Well, well, I, I'm gonna drink and I'm gonna smoke and I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want because maybe I like not being a fucking nobody. All right? So, grow up. Fuck you. Try. I'll always be 
podcast to them all put back up on the shelf all because i'm genuine and just being myself i've been left all alone no one left to turn to how can i keep pushing on how can i make it through wanted to say I'm sorry. Oh? I shouldn't have said the things that I did the other night, and I'm sorry. It's okay. I was drunk. I didn't know what I was it's saying. It's okay. It's okay, then why are you acting like this? Why were you drinking? What? Why were you drinking in the first place? It was a party, Luke. It was a pack, Scott. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. It was a like, huge uh, deal I tried to, to keep the pact, but I mean... Do you even like drinking? Look, I just miss how it used to be, okay? Uh, I'm people. sorry, things change. Scott, I'm glad you're sorry, but... What? You keep saying you're sorry, you've been sorry for a month now, and somehow nothing's changed. I, I just it, thought that after all... Just, no, Scott, I'm not finished, okay? You've been ignoring me this entire time. The least thing you can do is but listen to me. I, I, I came to say sorry, not to be lectured no, about my fucking life what? choices, okay? I, I gotta deal with the guy who popped the party. Wait, what? Fifteen minutes after you left, the cops knocked on the door, lined us up, breathalyzed us, and now we all have a fucking court date. Oh my gosh. Yes, I mean, I've been trying to figure out who did it. It was a private invite, so no one had any way of knowing. Uh, maybe one of the neighbors could have like put in a noise complaint we or something? Luke, you know the music wasn't that loud. So I got to thinking, it must have been someone who's trying to sabotage it, who's been jealous of everything that's been going on. Scott, let's think about this. So it must have been Parker. Wait. Parker Phillips? Yep. Why would it have been Parker? The guy's never heard a fly. That's what I thought too, but he saved two of the videos that Tommy sent in the group chat. Well, why else would anyone have done that? Well, I don't, I don't know, man, but it couldn't have been, it couldn't have been him. Parker's one of the nicest people I've ever met. Remember um, the seventh grade when he would bake cupcakes? Yeah, that, that, that was the fly. past, all right? The past is gone. What are you gonna do to him? basketball team already knows about it, and let's just say that tonight isn't going to be his night. Wait, Scott, you can't just... Hey, Scott, can I talk to you for a second about tonight? Yeah, one sec. Don't tell anyone what I just told you, especially Parker. No, wait, Scott, you can't just do... What if it wasn't... It wasn't... Really, really strong. 
struggling. Yes, I know that I should have told him. I just, I just, do you remember when it first happened? I, I mean, he was so young and looked up to his dad so much and I just, I couldn't bear to tell him. And, and I know that now I should tell him that he just, he needs to know the truth. I just, just trying to protect him and I, it just seems like the truth is already coming out, so he's gonna find out eventually. I, I just don't have the heart. I just can't do that. I, I'm just, just trying to protect him. Mom, what is going on? What, what, what were you just saying? Honey, I, um, you're home. Mom, Mom, what were you just saying about Dad? Yeah, I was just talking to Carol, honey. It's what, what really happened? Mom, you know this. mom, 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 what really happened to dad? Mom, tell me, tell me, mom, mom, tell me, mom, tell me what really happened to dad. Your dad was a good man, okay? He was, he was the most amazing man I've ever met, but he wasn't perfect, okay? He, listen, when he was your age, he was this huge, Partier and that came a lot of substances. And as he got older, he was never able to let that part of himself go. Oh, but but please, you need to understand that he was the best role model for you. He would never show that around you. I promise. He went to bed. He would just drink and drink. And you know, I, I, try, I tried to talk to him about it, I really did, but he made sure that it wasn't a problem. And eventually, drinking wasn't enough. And I, I remember one night I rolled over in bed and I, I saw this white powder under his nose. I, I didn't know what to do, okay? I, I, I didn't know what to do. I, I looked in the closet and, and under the bed and I found three bags of it. And I, I was going to confront him about it the next day, but then he took me driving to the comic book store and he never... killed by a drunk driver. No. Dad was an alcoholic. Well, yes. He was addicted to cocaine. Luke, please. And, and, and the reason we got in that crash that night was was because he was high on cocaine. Can you just... and, and you have been telling me my entire life that he died in a drunk driving accident? You you, you denied everything I said about the rumors from Tommy, even though you knew they were true. Well, I'm and well, when were you gonna tell me, Mom? Or were you ever gonna tell me, or were you just gonna let me keep walking around clueless, giving goddamn presentations on something that never even happened? Well, I, I was just trying to protect, <laughs> and protect you. me. Protect me. Protect me. You call lying to my face for the last four years, protecting me. Tommy, the person who has bullied me this entire year, has known more about my family than I did. Dad, my, my role model, the person I strive to be was an alcoholic and a cocaine addict. And worst of all, my mom, my own mom, one of the only people in this world I have ever trusted has been lying to me my entire life. No, I, I don't care. I'm just supposed to accept that I can't even trust my own mom. I'm just supposed to pretend that my life isn't crashing before my eyes. No, no, stay away from me. No, no, you knew. You knew about all this. You knew he was addicted. Was you knew he was driving me. You could have said something. You could have said something. You had, this is all your fault. This is all your fault. Fuck this. Fuck you.
why is, why is Tommy Snapchatting me? Fine! Uh, there's, there's two Harry Potter obsessions. Six! Oh, uh, motherfucking anxiety! Guys, you gotta try this shit. It is fucking insane. Holy shit, Tommy, what is that? Ladies and gentlemen, we got motherfucking cocaine! Dude, where the fuck did you get that? Doesn't matter. Scott, do you see honors? That's not what I said. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. You better explain yourself no, right no, 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 now. No, no, just let me talk. I had been by myself the entire night, and then we got in that fight, and you were drunk, and I heard you talking to Tommy, and you said Oh, right, so you, you popped the party because you were jealous. No, I popped the party because you were about to drunk drive. Get over the drinking thing, Scott, I just don't want you to go down that I'm path. I'm not going down that path. I have everything under control. Everything under control. You just did fucking cocaine, Scott. You call it having everything yes, under control. Yes, Luke. No, 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 that's not how this works, okay? You can just you can just leave this shit behind anytime you want. All this drinking and smoking and everything, it follows you until you're an adult, and you can still, you can still act as the perfect role model and take your kid to play basketball every Sunday morning and all of this shit can still take away everything you have and hurt everyone what you What are love. you talking about? My dad, Scott. Your dad was killed by a drunk driver! No, 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 yes, no. he was! Accept it and move on! Stop letting it affect how you live your life and more importantly, stop letting it affect how I live mine, alright? I'm, I'm done with all of this shit. I'm done with you pointing fingers at me. I'm done with your anxiety. I'm done with you. Scott, please just let me explain. I gave you a chance to explain to the party and you fucked that up. Someone's got to pay for the court date that me and my best friend have. My, my best friend? Yeah, Luke. Best friend. Tommy would never do this shit to me. Tommy's been with me the whole time. Basketball team's gonna be outside your house in ten minutes. Inside your house, or this is gonna be worse than it has to. No, 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 wait, Scott, you can't. You, Scott. Now 
I find myself at this place. Oxygen is disappearing. The icy wind bombarding my face. But I keep on persevering. And my body's getting tired. A thought appears anew. Do I have the desire to keep on pushing through? <laughs> and up ahead, I hear a rumbling. I look ahead to Deathly avalanche tumbling down toward me, and finally it's too much. I'm done fighting it all. My feet slip. My I need to tell you something. I, I, I can't look at you right now. You just... No, okay? I, every time I look at you, I, I think about the party, and I think, I think about me running to get you guys, and I think about running into Luke's house. And... I can't stop thinking about it either. Please, just let me explain myself. 
There's no way that anyone can explain what just happened. Not me, not you, not anyone. Scott, please, just hear me out. Then you don't ever have to talk to me. Ever again. I never knew Luke's dad. But his dad and mine, they'd go out drinking every single night. And he'd come back long after I'd been put to bed. I was never asleep. I'd hear him fling open the door and come stumbling in and start slamming into every piece of furniture we owned. And my mom would go down into the kitchen and just start screaming about how we couldn't go on like this. And how my dad needed to change. And he'd start yelling too. And I just lay there. I still remember the newscast about the accident. And I still remember my mom just absentmindedly mumbling to herself. Only if that had been your dad instead. You know, my dad's not in the picture anymore. And I was never able to cope with that like Luke was. I was never able to make packs or stop myself from becoming like him. So I got jealous. And I got angry. And I took all of that jealousy and all of that anger and I shot it right at him. And now, I don't know why I'm telling you this. It doesn't make up for what I've done or even start. You know, I just. I. Everything was how it used to be. How it should have been, how it could have been, how it would have been had I not gone blind. Some people know who they're meant to be, and then there are others. How true identities They're just puppets controlled by some knotted string Just who wants to be not a nobody To be somebody they do anything But Luke was one who never cared what people thought he was always true to himself. He, he didn't listen to anyone else. He lived his life truthfully, and, and he stuck with you till the end. He was kind. He was different. He was the perfect friend. 
He was fighting a battle every single day, a constant uphill fight. But I didn't know how. And I never checked to see if he was okay. I never took the time. Yes, I took all of that and I threw it away for some worthless popularity. And now I am the one standing up here today. Everyone is climbing their own mountain, but you won't know. So just be true to who you are and help them up out of the snow. Everyone is climbing their own mountain, but you won't know. Just be true to who you are and help them all out of the snow. Everyone is climbing their own mountain, but you won't know. So just be true to who you are and help them all out of the snow. Thank you.